Hey everyone, it's Jeff from New York, and today we're going to be back in New Orleans on Frenchman Street, which is kind of like a local's bourbon street where real New Orleans gather to listen to live music and grab a drink. While popular amongst the locals, it is starting to grow in popularity with tourists, especially post-Katrina, and uh, Frenchman is becoming kind of like a tourist central come the evening, especially on the weekends. Frenchman Street is kind of like Bourbon Street with a culture. It's got better music, much, much better music, I must say, uh, better food, better drinks, and a better crowd. It's not the falling down drunk crowd that you see on Bourbon Street. It's more of a sophisticated crowd. And like everything else in this area, I can guarantee you if you're staying in the French Quarter, it's within walking distance. Just a reminder, this is Cray Cray the Crawfish from Louisiana. He shows up somewhere in all my New Orleans videos, so please help me find him. Be the first to spot Cray Cray in this video and leave a comment below with the timestamp you spotted him, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video on this channel. Personally, I think Frenchman Street is all about the music, and you can find a little of everything down here, including rap, uh, a lot of jazz, rock, R&B, funk, uh, you name it, it's going to be played down here, and it's all got a little bit of a, a New Orleans touch to it. Even the panhandlers show some talent on Frenchman Street. And I'm going to attempt to hold off on the commentary on this video every time I'm showing a band, just so you can appreciate the music a little bit more. In my travels, I've learned that a dead giveaway of a local's hangout is there is not a single souvenir shop in sight. They're all over the French Quarter, but not on Frenchman Street. Keep in mind that shortly on this channel we'll be doing a Frenchman Street daytime visit in which we'll visit many of these clubs again during the daytime as well as some stores including the LA Music Factory which is a famous uh, music store with uh, records, CDs, uh, sheet music, um, lots of rare finds in this store and we're going to visit it. The LA stands uh, for Louisiana not Los Angeles.
Hang on a second, I got some hair on the lens. That's not my camera freaking out. The area on this corner is drenched in blue lighting and that's because we're about to visit the Blue Nile Club. Keep in mind the washboard is a very popular musical instrument in Louisiana, in particular New Orleans. As in my other New Orleans videos, it seems like every time you turn a corner there's a band on the street playing and attracting a crowd. This is a rather large band and it's attracting a rather large crowd. By the way, that pizzeria we just passed on the corner is featured on my Frenchman Street daytime video, which is coming up shortly, and you really have to check it out. It's the most unusual pizzeria I've ever seen. The band coming up has a very unusual sound, or is it unusual? It sounds a little bit like the Sopranos theme song to me. Uh, maybe not. Leave comments below. Coming up is one of my favorite bands on Frenchman Street. It's a very small band in a very small bar. It's about the size of your average bedroom. Uh, and the bar itself is about the size of your average bedroom closet. The band leader, the trombone player, really knows how to rile up an audience, even though the audience might be only 30 people, because that's all that can fit in this room. But I've never introduced myself to him, but we seem to know each other from, you know, eye contact, and uh, he even gives me a salute as I leave the bar tonight.
This place is so tiny he can poke some eyes out with that trombone slide. Look at this tiny crowd. If this ain't New Orleans diversity, I don't know what is. This is Washington Square Park, not the Washington Square Park you used to seeing from Jeff from New York, um, but the one that's in New Orleans. And it seems like tonight there's a light up your bicycle night. The park will be featured in my Frenchman Street daytime video. And here we have the Spotted Cat, which is one of the more popular restaurants slash clubs in the uh, Frenchman Street area. What are the odds that I'd get some video footage inside? The odds are slim. There's a few of these alleys on Frenchman Street. It's uh, artists showing off their wares. It's not really flea market stuff. It's really good artisan wares. And it looks like tonight people are buying. Some funky furniture, and I'm really digging these musician paintings. Quick, check out those jackets. And here we have another artist alley.
If you're a hot dog fan, you have to check out Dat Dogs on Frenchman Street. It's highly rated on all of the uh, social media platforms. Some really unusual offerings with some crazy toppings. Crossing the street, we're going to head into Vasso. I really enjoy this place because they hire top-notch bands. The band sounds good, so I stepped into Vaso and ordered my first drink of the evening. Let's see what this band's all about. This is what I was talking about. A band of this caliber is way too good for Bourbon Street, so you're only going to find stuff like this on Frenchman Street. But don't tell too many people because it's becoming more and more popular down here. Check out the sax player on the far left, he's about to wail. One of the many reasons I come back here every year.
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.